Good evening. NHS unions are consulting their members on a 4% pay offer for the year. It includes a guaranteed uplift of at least £1,000 for the lowest paid workers. The offer to nurses, paramedics and health support staff was announced just hours before the start of the Holyrood election campaign. Labour wants it extended to other key workers. Here's our political editor, Glenn Campbell. To the Holyrood election. Glenn joins me now. There have been uh, questions raised, Glenn, about the timing of this announcement by the government just hours before the official election campaign starts. This year's election will look and feel different to any other. The parties can leaflet today with canvassing permitted from early next month and increased safety measures will be in place on polling day. So how do you run an election during a pandemic? Our political reporter, uh, correspondent rather demoted her there, Lindsay Buse, has been taking a look. Reporting Scotland. Half the population have now had their first dose of a COVID vaccine. In general, uptake has been good, but GPs in the most deprived communities would like more flexibility in getting jags to people who are vulnerable to severe COVID and who may not have come forward. Our health correspondent Lisa Summers reports. Throughout the pandemic, our island communities have faced particular challenges, not least in tourism. But amid the difficulties, they've also created new links. Ian McInnes reports on how Scotland's islands have experienced the year of lockdown. Work. A former UK diplomat has been found in contempt of court over blogs he wrote about the trial of Alex Salmond. Craig Murray, a former ambassador to Uzbekistan, posted a series of articles online about the... Now, should objects in museums be returned if they were got hold of originally by looting? Aberdeen University is repatriating a Nigerian sculpture which was taken by British soldiers in Benin City in 1897. The university says their acquisition of the bronze head of an Oba or king was extremely immoral. It's one of the Benin bronzes, metal sculptures created from the 17th century onwards in what's now Nigeria. As India Grant reports, Aberdeen's thought with the first British institution to return a Benin bronze. After 14 seasons with Celtic, captain Scott Brown is joining Aberdeen in the summer as player coach. The new Dons manager, Stephen Glass, describes it as a huge coup. Well, for more, let's cross to Hampden, where Scotland are in World Cup qualifying action and our reporter Jane Lewis is in the company of an Aberdeen legend. Review all, Jane. Should we have to carry vaccination passports to get into pubs, gyms and cinemas when they reopen? That's what's being discussed on BBC Scotland's The Nine tonight. And one cruise ship owner says it's inevitable. But I think it will... Look. Let's get the weather here now with Gillian. Willie Miller was looking well wrapped up in there in Hamden. <laughs> it's pretty dreary out there, Sally, and it's staying unsettled as we head towards... It'll be windy. That's the forecast. <laughs> OK, thanks very much. <laughs> Let's look again at tonight's main news. And that's Reporting Scotland. We'll have a late bulletin for you just after the 10 o'clock news. Until then, from everyone in the team right across the country, have a very good evening. Bye-bye.